Hi, uh, I am Shubham Patra from uh, the Computer Vision Group at IIT Delhi. I will be presenting my work on joint 3D 2D based free space detection on roads. So, uh, the main applications of uh, free space detection is in autonomous navigation for road detection and obstacle avoidance. So, uh, what are the main challenges in here? So, if we use the 2D based priors for road detection, like just using images only, the, these methods fail when the textures are non-uniform or that there are illumination changes like in day and night. Even the scene and base techniques are trained on particular data sets. When we try to generalize it on the roads, mainly on Indian roads, they fail. So uh, again, if we try the only 3D based methods like which uses LiDAR or even the SLAM based techniques, they fail when there are uh, the, when the when they lack when there is a lack of resolution, like in fine depth boundaries such as in pavements, etc. But if we combine the, both the 2D or 3D methods, so they can mitigate the problems and and complement each other to have a better segmentation and free space detection. So if we describe our approach, so first we generate 2D priors in the form of probability distribution from a CNN-based method such as SegNet and use it for uh, and generating the priors for our method. So next, we, what we use is generate 3D priors from. Uh, so we use the SLAM for this purpose since we are using a single camera and we start by first extracting the road from it by we use a parametric method such uh, which is similar to hub transform for uh, separating out the road from the depth map first. Once we have separated out the depth map, uh, road from the depth map, then we uh, separate out the obstacles by doing a clustering on them using k-means. Now using this, we generate a higher level information. So we have a higher level representation for the roads and the obstacles. And we use this in a CRF formulation for a free space modeling. The framework is given in this figure. So uh, first we show some qualitative results. So uh, this, is what, this is on a, a particular example which is taken on our university campus. So we show the detected road and the free space in 2D in the first row and the, in 3D in the second row. Now we show some qualitative analysis. So these are few examples taken from the Kitty benchmark. And uh, the, the first row sh shows the results which uses only 2D image priors for road detection and the second uh, row shows the examples where we use only 3D information. So each of these has some problems, either their depth resolution or the pavements have been detected as road. So each of these complements each other and when you use both 3D and 2D as in shown in the third row, we find that they uh, help us solve these problems. Here are some quantitative analysis uh, on the bit Kitty and Cambridge datasets, which is a publicly available datasets. And we show better performance in mm, both when we compare with the only 2D or only 3D based methods. So to summarize, we proposed a method for free space estimation on roads. We in leveraged information for both 3D and 2D data. And we tested in a multiple road detection benchmarks as well as on Indian roads, which is a very difficult example. So thank you. Please visit our poster.